What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Forza Horizon 2 taking a look at my 950 horsepower Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8. Now, this thing is not only fast for what it is, but it's just plain fast, just period, full stop, it is just plain fast. Now, I have it on a street setup right now, it's got two different setups, it's got a street setup and it's got an off-road setup. The off-road setup is kind of wonky, I'm still dialing it in. But the street setup is, uh, it works pretty well. Um, I actually used it in a, in a, uh, finale race, just basically on the finale circuit, uh, the one that you, uh, that you race at the end of the game, um, online, and this thing just absolutely monstered it. I was so impressed with how it, uh, how it performed. I mean, it not only performs well, like I said, for an SUV, but it just performs well. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the launch real quick, because the launch is one of the best parts of this thing. Now, if you just rev it up to seven or seven and a half and drop it, you'll get a massive rolling burnout like this. Or if you hover right around 3,500 and then just drop it and then go, you get a really, really clean launch. No drama, no fuss at all. It just goes. And yes, it is good in a straight line. I mean, that's that's kind of why you build, say, and you know, a 950 horsepower vehicle. But the thing about it is, for what it is, it's not terrible in the corners. I mean, sure, it's not you know, it's not a GTR, it's not a, uh, it's not a Viper, it's nothing like that. But it's not terrible either. It's not going to, uh, it's not going to have you saying, "Oh my God, this sucks." You know, this sucks at at, at cornering and handling. Because it doesn't. It'll actually go through a corner. If you put it into a corner, it will go through that corner. You just got to be mindful of the size and the weight of the thing. But it doesn't like to roll over all that much. I mean, I have had it go up on two wheels a couple of times, and that was a little bit scary. But other than that, it really does well. It really, really does. There's nothing in this thing that I would say, oh, that's a major problem and it needs to be addressed now. Because there's really nothing like that here. I mean, and if you're expecting Miata-like handling, no, you're not going to find it. But what you are going to find is a wall, apparently. But no, um, what you are going to find is a vehicle that handles its weight better than pretty much anything else you're going to find in Forza Horizon 2 as far as the actual, as far as the actual uh, handling of the vehicle and the way it handles corners, but also the way it handles power. I mean, this thing handles power great. But I mean, like, as, as you guys can see, I, you can stick it into corners, you can, you can kind of toss it around. It's not, it's not quite F40 tossable, obviously, but it's still a little bit tossable. You can throw it into corners and, that, yeah, I wasn't expecting, well, kind of was. Because there was a traffic car on one side, an AI car on one side, I was kind of expecting there to be an, an issue, but you can throw it into corners and be halfway confident that you're going to come out on the other side, right way up, and with your wits still about you as far as as far as your line, and as far as how you actually want to drive. I mean, we're taking these corners at over 100 miles an hour. That's craziness for a vehicle like this. Let's see if we can keep it in some kind of a decent line, trying to weave it around all these traffic cars. Ow, that's a wall, or it was. It wouldn't be after this thing hit it. <laughs> and yeah, you will get a little bit of understeer out of it, like I experienced there. The understeer is just kind of inevitable. Um, it will happen. And, I mean, you're in an all-wheel drive SUV. Of course, understeer is going to happen. But, when understeer does happen, you have so much power that you can actually correct it with a little bit of throttle. And I'll try and demonstrate that real quick. So, let's say... First of all, let me get past this Bentley. But if I get into a corner, and say we're halfway through the corner, the whoa, the back end will actually come around on you. And sometimes you can do it. You can you can kind of encourage it to uh, to slide around a little bit by using the brakes, um, or you can do it using the throttle, or you can use a combination of both. I'll see if I can do it using the brakes. And see the back end comes around just a little bit. 
and I wouldn't quite call it a drift, I'd call it a, pro like, kind of a progressive power slide, but the, the slides that you do get are actually kind of manageable. They're not that hard to manage. Let's see if we can... It actually doesn't sound any different in the tunnel. That's weird, because most stuff in Horizon 2 does sound a little bit different in a tunnel. Excuse me, F-Type. Should give you guys some interior action real quick. The interior in this thing's actually not that bad at all. It reminds me a lot of the Viper. Although I, I, I kind of find the paddle shifters to, I don't know, they look a little bit weird. They have a, they're, they're placed at a weird angle, which, I don't know, I'm kind of iffy about it. But other than that, the interior on this thing is really nice. Not a bad interior uh, to use cockpit view from, for sure. And again, it's not too bad at weaving in and out of these coastal roads. Traffic, traffic. That's the only one thing that it's not too good at is uh, avoiding, like, is avoiding traffic, avoiding things that are that we're gonna require any kind of like really twitchy handling. Um, it's not twitchy at all. So you're gonna you're gonna have to prepare in advance if you're gonna avoid something, which you generally can, but sometimes things like that are inevitable. If you need to get around something tight, you can rip the e-brake, and then, ooh, you could power out of it if your steering didn't lock on you. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Let's see how it does on this speed section real quick. A little bit of understeer, a lot of understeer, come on! Yeah, that was just a ton of understeer. I mean, it does have grip, though, that's the thing. It, it's not going to do well around the hammerhead at the Top Gear track, but we're not playing Forza 5, we're playing Horizon 2, so I feel like for the context we're applying it to, it does very well for itself. It really, really does. And you know what? We are definitely going to take it to the highway and see what kind of speeds we can get this thing up to. Let's take it... Nah, let's start it off right about here. And I believe that's about the beginning of where the really high speed stuff starts. And once we get there, we will find out if Horizon 2 wants to load any faster. That's the one thing I've always had that I, that I didn't like about Horizon 2 is the load times. They're just ridiculous. Did a little bit more of a show-off launch that time. But either way, it doesn't matter. Time to max this thing out, or at least get as close as we can. Whoa, okay, pull out in front of me, why don't you, Audi? Into seventh. Wow, the sound lagged bad on that one. The sound lagged really bad. I'm sure you guys heard that. Come on, crack 200. There's 200 miles an hour. Come on, 204. Come on, 205, come on. It's right in the optimal power band, come on. 205 looks like that might be all it's gonna do. Cause I've got it floored right now. Yeah, it's just bouncing between 204 and 205, but that's, again, it's not bad for, for what it is. It's actually really, really good for what it is. Who am I kidding? Not bad. It's actually um, a really, really nice, fast, but still, uh, but still got a lot of character kind of vehicle to it. It's, it's, I don't know, it's a really, really cool vehicle, and... I mean, sure, if it was real life, we'd be talking about practicality, but it's not. We're playing Forza. But I'm really, really glad that we have vehicles like this in Forza, and I really think people should use them just so they um, just just so they get actually get used, so they actually get out there, and so people see them online, and I just think that they definitely deserve a lot more attention um, than they're getting, these types of vehicles. So, 
If you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.